my son does. What up? What up? Bro? Your voice ain't even that deep. Yeah. <laughs> no, it ain't, guys. I, I promise it's not. So we're going to show you around. We're going to go do a little shopping. Delete and, this shit. No, play. restart it. Just go. It'll no. get edited. Play. Just go. Okay. So we're going to go do a little shopping and... I can't promise what she'll let it out. She'll probably put everything. <laughs> oh yeah, she will. But, yeah, so it's raining really bad here today. It's yes, all late, it but we're just doing our thing. Yeah, that's yeah. good, guys. You agreed right. to be in this. Say yeah, I agree. I agree. Yep, had to get that, guys, because you never know. You never know. Dude. Yeah, we're headed to Walmart right now. I'm gonna go get picture frames to put the pictures in that Sarah got me. Yeah. So. Great. Yeah. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Say okay. bye. Bye. As you, as you laugh every time I say that, I'm huh, sorry. So we were just on the train headed to ballpark. And we passed a lady who looked like she was slumped over her wheel, smashing the bushes by a fence. So we're going to walk back and make sure she's okay. It was just way in on us to do that. Hey, everybody. So I just met up with my son. Um, we're at a place called Chick-fil-A. I'll tune you in in a minute. He's up getting his meal. I'm not going to have anything I ate already. But we're just going to hang out. I'm going to introduce you guys. So yeah, and then we're going to probably go to Walmart um, and just hang out, spend time together. I'm going to throw Hi oh, y'all, this is Chick-fil-A. For anybody that's out of the country, I don't know if this is in your country, but Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, doing a little mall. Doing the mall right now, look at that waterfall out there, guys. Pretty nice, huh? Well, that's gonna be it right there. These. Bah, 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 bah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. It's up to me. This is how to do it. I like it. I like it a lot. I was just putting them up there just to put them up I there. I know, but like that. You like that better? Yeah. Look at okay, that. okay. I'm feeling that. You feeling that? No. You wanted a vlog. You won't even look at the camera. I don't. <laughs> I'm camera shy. Come on now, man. My first vlog. Mr. Snapchat? I don't use Snapchat. You told me you love Snapchat. I used to. You don't use it no more? No, not really. I, uh, I think it's because old people are starting to use it. Because I got something from an old person that asked me to join him on oh, Snapchat. Oh, a friend no. of mine. Oh, hell no. So, Kelly, my sponsor. So that's what I'm thinking it is. Is yes. that true? Like Facebook. That's I knew it, guys. News alert, news alert. The kids are going away from our social media, finally. Oh, well, I am. Instagram, that's where it's at. Instagram? Instagram. Instagram. You heard Instagram. it from the mouth of a babe. Well, we've actually been together about two and a half hours. We got a three hour cutoff limit, me and him, before we start arguing. That's just, uh, that's just a rule. No. But we're about to go on a road trip here pretty quick oh, for about three days. Oh, we're going to fake. We're vlogging that. Come on, man. We got to vlog that. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I said it's going to be great. We're going to see. I, I have to agree with him. It's going to be great. I'm off to do trampolining with Clara. We're gonna go and do that because I'm working tomorrow and Monday. I'm doing two long days, so I don't wanna be staying out really late. So we're going to go to the trampolining place and pick up a Domino's pizza on the way back. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have burnt enough calories. And then we're gonna watch a movie called Cobweb on Amazon. Right, so we've just got here and um, I'm really nervous. I don't know why, it's been a while. Put all your stuff away and check out for the day There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees Burns under my feet, won't you have a drink with me? everybody so yeah I got a really bad ear infection today I don't feel good but I'm going shopping with my boy Bob he lives here with me and I'll introduce you guys and this is Bob's ride you guys well I can't show you but I can show you like this it's the minivan guys we're rolling in the minivan but yeah we're gonna go to Costco I've never been I'm gonna vlog a little bit on it and and it gets sorry to see the see the stuff that's going on here's my kitty cat Hi, kitty. Hi. Yeah, babies. Hi, babies. What you doing, mama? Oh, yeah. I don't get the cat. I've been feeding it. You guys see her? Where's she at? Yeah, right there. She's really skitty. Uh -huh. 
What you doing, baby? Oh, what are you doing home so late and early? Come here. There you go. What are you doing home so late and early, huh? We're at a place called Costco. I don't think you guys have that overseas, but it is like a huge warehouse establishment that sells things in bulk. You gotta be a member. It's like $60 a year for Bob's a member. We're not going in, we're just gonna get gas. And it's pretty much the cheapest in the city if you're a member. So that's where we're at. Costco, well, I'm gonna show you around in here. This is amazing, <laughs> amazing, dude. Look at this, baby. This is Look at these monster packs and everything, honey. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Your son likes them? They have a little spice Seaweed to them. cluster super seeds? They give you a little flavor. I like it. I think it's pretty good, actually. I was, uh, I was eating ground <laughs> No. So I get your Tastes like, fishy. Okay, God, I'm here. Yeah, look at that. Three packs of everything. Look at this. What kind did you get? Huh? What kind did you get? Do we have to have a blender? Whole red raspberries. Big old fucking box. That thing is. Okay. Forty dollars. We're down to pineapple. Ladies, men's this way, Bob. One thing of men's right here. Men's right here. Yeah. All men's. Yeah. Talked about this right here, didn't you? That's a one seater. Here's a two seater, babe. Two ninety nine. People, I think we're doing pretty good. This is what we've accommodated so far. <laughs> and beans and brews. And beans and brews. Shameless plug. <laughs> Shameless plug. That is your favorite coffee place? Oh, yeah. Bob's kid has four tents yeah. now. Yeah, she's two tents. Two? <laughs> <laughs> and she's two tents? No, oh, she's not. Right in you. Excuse us. Sorry. Oh, we almost took somebody out. Bob. Shopping together at Walmart, me and Bob. Be back. Okay, well. Well, Bob, Bob got all of his summer wear. Yeah. Well, me and Bob made it through. Very empty today, which is beautiful. Is there a bunch of stuff on the van like that? Absolutely. <laughs> Bob wants to get this on that. That on that. This is what I like about it. Huh? Alright, so it's a really nice day. I've got cuddles in the car. I'm going to take him to the forest. Just had to knit two Aldi's. But yeah, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. But at the moment, we're not going to discuss it because I'm not sure if Dustin wants to discuss it. But it's drama all the time. Drama, drama, drama. But um, let's go to the forest. And I'm really hoping the bluebells are out because spring is in the air. So let's go. Right, so me and Dustin were talking yesterday about how flat we felt. We literally video messaged in the night and we were on the phone for like three to four hours. And the next morning, I just felt like empty and flat, no emotions, no excitement. Not because of him, but because I just feel empty. I still, I still feel that way. And it's been what three weeks three to four weeks yeah three weeks since i was last there with him and we were saying how it feels like so much longer it feels like such a long time since we saw each other i think a lot has happened as well in that duration of time 
but um yeah we both felt emotionally drained yesterday and just like empty and missing each other terribly um which that's another you know I talk about how do you know that it's right that's another thing because I don't normally feel that I don't normally allow myself to get too emotionally involved with people um and I would say I can be quite cold in that respect I don't mean to be it's just the way I am but with him it's just completely different like I the way I feel is that I just want to get on with it now I wish we could hurry up the immigration process I wish we could just get on with it I wish we could sell everything I might have to move in with my mum nearer the time especially if his application is successful I think at that point I will be moving out and moving in with my mum because then it will just be my section of the floor but it would be weird though to move to Salt Lake and leave all good old blighty Britain behind and leave all of this and then of course there's taking cuddles and everything so obviously this year this year we've actually agreed to start planning and getting ready we're going to apply for the application by the end of the year we want to put fit two more visits into that so over the coming months we're going to be filming our process talking through the visa application getting ready still showing what we're up to individually as people and then come together as a couple we'll be talking about our relationship and doing things like that um, so I hope you're going to stay along for the journey because I know the real journey only starts when we can properly start, you know, being together. That is going to be the real journey. It's a different journey. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to carry on walking this little boy because he loves it here. Um, so yeah, let's go. Oh God, I was really hoping it would have dried up a bit. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming, just don't know how I'm going to do this. I, oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, oh, this was not a good idea. Oh no, oh the mud is seeping into, oh my god. Oh no, I'll go this way. Okay, Cuddles has made it across. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm thinking, can I jump that? I think I can. I really do. Uh, yay! Oh, wherever we go, it's muddy, isn't it? Which way should we go? Straight on? Why am I asking him? He'll just follow me anyway. <laughs> oh, I was so hoping that the bluebells were out and the forest hasn't disappointed. They are such a really nice day. It's quite fresh though. Look at the bluebells. Hello everybody. So, um, I'm gonna just go around a tour around downtown and stuff today and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. It is so beautiful here that I just couldn't stay in the house a minute longer, so. I ate my breakfast, visited with Sara this morning. So great. And she, she might speak on uh, some of the conversations we've been having when she walks, but we're really getting into the planning stage right now and, and just in talking about some of the shared experiences we had when she was here, but. Right now, I'm down by my house. I'm at the train stop right now, waiting to go forward, and I'm going to just take you some uh, pictures of the city and the people today, and just go downtown and walk around, and it's really windy, so I'm hoping that the buildings will kind of protect it so you guys can hear me, but it's pretty, it's pretty windy here today, so just doing things, just doing things, and um, yeah, I want to take you guys along with me. Hi, I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm out and about. I just went to Walmart. I'd be just roaming around the city a little bit. Um, I don't know if you wanted me to go step by step with you guys, but I'm going to shine the view around where I'm at. I'm almost to the Bees, or the Buzz, uh, Salt Lake Buzz's uh, baseball stadium. I'll shoot a little bit of that. and Yeah, just everything like that's going on. Um, yeah, things are good. I played with a toy when I was in Walmart, you know. Hello everybody. 
What do you think? This will do it, huh? Okay, guys. Why not, guys? Why not? Well, yeah, just roaming around. I'm really wishing sorrow is with me every step that I take, you guys. I just wish you was with me. Um, it makes me ache inside for her being a little like this. I don't like it. And I, I know she feels the same, too. All over. I'm just getting separated. But I'm getting ready to go to 7-Eleven and get a soap. And I will show you guys what that is if you're overseas and you don't know. Okay? I'll be back. That right there, you guys, is the bees, or the buzz. That's where the buzz play, the Salt Lake Buzz, the baseball team, minor league for the Oakland A's, Oakland Athletics, which is an MLB team. Come on. Oh, yeah, 7-Eleven got you down. I'm going to go with Wild Cherry. So, you guys, that is a Slurpee. It's like a, an icy beverage. 7-Eleven, it go. They are delicious, you guys. Sara tried it. I don't think she liked it. She did try it, but they are so good on these kind of days where it's almost summer-like weather here. But it is just just an amazing day, you guys. I just tried to reach out to my buddy Tim. He's going to call me back. Um, I'd like to touch base with my sponsor. He's not my sponsor, but he sure helped me through some times, man. He's a really good and close friend of mine. He lives in another state. Um, we did some time together. And then my sponsor, Kelly, um, he just sent me a voicemail, too. That was really sweet, um, praying for me and Sara, and that you know, we can just get through this and get be together soon. And uh, I forwarded it to her because the concern for you know that he's doing that. And, you know, it's just really great. But me and Sara uh, have actually been doing some, uh, are having some talks that have, are, are really leaning towards spiritual, uh, spiritual messages, I guess you would say, or supernatural uh, stuff. That is just really, really great, you guys. That I think we're going to share. We're going to do a video on all the stuff like that, 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 uh, signs and stuff like that. We're going to do, we're going to do a video on that. We're going to sit down and do an outline so we don't leave anything out and then just try to lay it out for you guys. And I would appreciate comments back and you let us know what you think. And yeah. Following our blog, you know what this is called. It's called the Dodgy Bridge, according to Sara, and I just I'll never walk through here again without uh, thinking of her. And uh, yeah, I just watched a man ride his bicycle past five gallons of cat litter and a flat screen TV on his back. Weird. You just see all kinds of weird stuff here. I should feel that he was going pretty quick. But anyway, yeah, I'm headed home. It's on like a half a block from my house. It's uh, 2 p.m. So I've been out for like three hours, four hours. And it's just great. Just walking around, looking at things and seeing people. And yeah. Hi. Hey. How are you this morning? I'm okay. I've li <laughs> I literally just got here. You literally just what? I literally just got here. Oh, cool. Good timing. Huh? Yeah. Let me turn you up, I can't hear you. Right, okay. That's better. Miss you. I <laughs> miss you too. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah? I'm just walking, it's cold out here a little bit. Summer curve. Yeah, I'm good. I am, I am in the whole picture. I don't know what you're seeing, but I'm in the whole thing. <laughs> I'm seeing everything part of your face like this. That's, That's the whole seeing, picture. I can see the whole thing. Like that. You can. <laughs> <laughs> it's not all about you, Sara. <laughs> you can't use my line. It's not all about you, Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my baby. 
<laughs> so your shift went okay for you? Yeah, it was hard doing a long day though. Really hard. <laughs> it's like <laughs> so long. To get up at six in the morning, which I'm not used to. I'm usually going to bed at that time. <laughs> After speaking to you. Really? Yeah. To get up at six and then not get home till ten. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. I keep I keep wondering what's the best route though to go down. What do you mean? Well, you get married, don't you? <laughs> I think that that might be a good route, and I don't think it'll be bad, especially if we married somewhere else and it just looks romantic, and we can prove our relationship for years. That won't be an issue. It isn't like you're just doing it for a green card. Do you know what? We've been together for years. Only because one of the girls in work that I was telling about last night, she got married to a guy from Grenada, and they got married you're in. Cutting out. Go I ahead, start, start again. I said that one of the girls in work was telling me about her visa application for her husband because he was from Grenada and they got married in Barbados and then he had to apply to come to England and she was talking about it but they they got married first what? they got married first in Barbados yeah. but did they get approved yeah he came but she, she was saying that they made a mistake on their application form and they had to do the whole lot again. Why? Because they made one little error on it. So they had to redo it oh, and resubmit they made, it. They made an error. Yeah. Right? So that's why we oh, have to make sure ours is really tight and everything's done. But they got married first. But they got married first. Yeah. I that. And and also, I was thinking like, with that fiance visa, you don't get long to plan a proper. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like you just have to get married. And I it's know. Rushed. I say we. I say that we focus on at least look at it like we just get married, and then we apply. I think if we're going to get denied, we're going to get denied anyway. Hello, everybody. I just wanted to maybe vlog a little bit out here. I'm out here tonight on the streets of Salt Lake City. Um, have to go mail something. Some very sensitive uh, time, time sensitive documents. I got to get them in the mail, but I just thought I would vlog a little bit. I'm never really out here at night, so when I get up here on Main Street. We're just going to do that to it. That's just the way it's going to be. I'm going to show you guys around, and that's just how it's going to be. So sorry, I'm out of breath a little bit, but I was going to wait on the train, but it takes 20. It's going to be 21 minutes. That's stupid. I think I can walk here in 21 minutes. So I'll get up here and I'll show you guys around. You never come out at night. You guys are coming out at night with me. This, you guys, is called the Gateway Mall. It's called the Gateway. It's an outdoor mall and it is nice. I will have to take you guys in there during the day. And from our previous vlogs, you guys have seen City Creek Mall. So I won't bore you with that, but that's the one I'm heading up to because that's where the mailbox is at. So I brought my umbrella because it does look like it's going to rain. It's supposed to rain overnight, which sucks because I went out spraying weeds today, you guys. But it said they're waterproofed after 15 minutes. So when I'm walking on this side of the street because I'll show you guys on the way home. But I was almost attacked by two vicious dogs. Thank gosh that the homeless owners grabbed them before they bit me. So that's kind of scary. I mean, you just never know what's coming out at night. But I'm going to go ahead and shoot some uh, film. Hi, guys. It's called Wise Guys Comedy Club. And on their pictures, they got everybody from Drew Carey to everybody that's been there. I don't know if this is a knockoff from one that's in California or what. But this is what it looks like. It's part of town, you guys. Need to take a break, gotta find our own ways, girl. At 
the tip of the iceberg. I love and devotion. You, you still rock my world. No exit to this maze. Every hope that I had is long gone. These nights we've been fighting. Sick of pretending that we'll see the light of dawn. Look at me.